So one day I was drinking out of this water fountain over here, and when the water hit my mouth, there was this instant bubbly sensation. It almost tasted like Alka-Seltzer, but it also had this burning at the back of my throat. So I instantly spit it out, and I knew we had to do some testing here. So I'm just gonna get a quick sample of this. And if you come over here, you can also see that there is some blue hanging around, which may mean that it could be copper in the water. But there's definitely something else going on here. If you could hear in the bottle, there is uh, some fizzing going on. So here I have a, a strip of pH paper. And so what pH is, is it's a scale from one to 14. A pH of seven means that it's neither basic nor acidic. A uh, pH below seven is acidic. A pH above seven is basic. Yeah, let's test this water. It's starting to turn a little blue. Now, I don't know if that's from the possibility of there being copper in there, but for this paper, um, a pH of this greenish blue is a pH of uh, nine to 10. So this is definitely basic. Oh, ew. oh my god. Oh my god. They're the plastic kids, they took a vial and stuff. They're gonna test it. They're testing it? Do they have any normal water? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. Who's that? That's what we're figuring out here. Uh. What'd you guys do to the water? <laughs> oh, this looks weird. Oh! <laughs> what? That's not water, dude. That's like fizzy. Dude, that's not water. Taste it. Taste it. Taste, taste it. it. Dude, dude, try it. There's probably it's, I think it's Sprite. The pH of safe drinking water is from 6.5 to 8.5. But from this test, uh, it is apparent that the pH is from 9 to 10, meaning that it is definitely not safe to drink. So we have this water quality test kit, and we also have a sample of the water from the water fountain that we just examined. Let's take a look of what's inside this box. So this tests for pH, total alkalinity, total chlorine, total hardness, hydrogen sulfide, iron bacteria, iron, copper, nitrates, and nitrites. Now we're gonna use this test sample that was again from the water fountain at CCA, and we're gonna compare it to this normal water fountain, and just to see how it compares, we're gonna we're gonna test the water from this dog water fountain. We're gonna start off with the uh, copper test. This is the dog water, and this one seems to have no copper in it. So this is the uh, regular water fountain. Unsurprisingly, it also does not have any water in it. And now, this is the CCA water. The dog water you can see is a little darker than the regular water fountain. That means it has like maybe a little more copper in it. The only thing is that this. It looks like a three on the scale, which means caution. So now we're gonna do the iron test. First test the dog water. So this has a low amount of iron in it. Now this is the regular water fountain. It also has a low amount of iron in it. And now let's try the CCA water. So for the CCA water, it turned um, a, li a little blue, which is a 0 0.3 on the scale for iron and it's actually the ideal amount of iron in water, so that's at least good. So now we're doing a test for nitrates and nitrites. Uh, so we'll start with the dog water. So it has a safe amount of nitrates and nitrites. Now for the regular water, uh, this also has a safe amount of nitrates and nitrites. And now for the CCA water. And this also has a safe amount of nitrates and nitrites, so that is definitely not the issue here. All right, now for our last test, this is the four in one test. For the total hardness, it appears to be at around 120, which is in between soft and hard. For the chlorine, it has a score of one, and the pH, it's around 7.8. So these are all pretty normal, maybe a little on, a little on the hard side. Now let's test the uh, regular water fountain. Total hardness seems to be around a 25, so it's definitely much better than the dog water fountain. It seems to have a pH of also 7.8. The total alkalinity is around 40. Total chlorine in here is around 0.5. So this is actually much better results than 
the dog water. Okay, so for the CCA water, the total hardness in between 120 and 250, which is much harder than uh, the other two water fountains. The total chlorine is around a 1. Total alkalinity around 40. The pH for the CCA water is um, off this scale, in the, but this scale maxes out at 8.4 and as we tested before it was it was from 9 to 10 pH. This water is definitely not safe to drink for anyone. So earlier today we checked up on the problematic water fountain and we're pleasantly surprised to see that it, it's mostly fixed. In this process we learned a great deal about testing water and we found out how easy it is to do so as you can go to your local hardware store and pick up a water testing kit. Even though in this case we could easily tell that there's something wrong with the water, not all issues with water can be sensed which is why you should consider testing your water before drinking it.